Hi, this is Todd Bauer with Builder Surplus, and I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how to measure your kitchen for new cabinets. When you're first coming into Builder Surplus, you want to sit down with the designer. You probably are going to need to come armed with some information. The information that we would like you to come with is um, the current measurements of your kitchen. So, quickly, I'm going to give you the bare minimum requirements that we need to get this thing started. And it's really simple and easy, and all you really are going to need is a tape measure. Um, and I'm going to give you the specifics on what to pull from your kitchen right now. I've drawn a real simple rectangular kitchen up here. Um, this particular kitchen, it measures from corner to corner 150 inches by 176 inches. You can see I've kind of labeled that right here. Um, in your process, I want you to draw, do your best to draw your kitchen and label these measurements as we go. So 176 across the top, the long way, 150 um, the shorter way. Typically in a rectangular kitchen, they're gonna repeat. But if you have other uh, shapes, go ahead and work your way around the kitchen, measuring all those walls as you go. Um, in this particular kitchen, I've drawn a window on this wall, and I've drawn uh, the location of the current stove, electrical outlet, or the gas that's coming out of the floor or the wall. We need to know that information. I've also labeled where the refrigerator currently is, and I have a door on this uh, wall down at the bottom. So let me talk about the measurements that you're gonna need then. Um, starting again from the corner, I'd like you to go from the corner to the edge of the window casing, and in my example, that's 82 inches. Uh, then I'd like you to measure the outside dimension of your window, which in this particular example is 32 inches, and that would be actually the outside of the casing to the outside of the casing. The final measurement on this wall then is from that casing to the final corner. And if you were to add up those three measurements, you should get the total distance from corner to corner. So in my example here, 36, 32, and 82 equal 150. And then you know you did it right. When we measure the top wall, in this particular instance, all I have on there to worry about is that outlet for the stove or maybe where a gas is coming out for a gas stove. So I'm gonna measure from the corner to the center of that, and then I'm gonna measure from that to the other corner. And again, the measurement to the gas outlet and from the gas outlet to the final corner added together should equal 176, and in my example, I have 176, or 176. Um, same thing when we get to doors. On the bottom, when I have doors, they typically have casing. So I like you to measure from the corner to the door casing, the distance across the door, outside the casing to outside the casing, and then from there to the other corner. And again, they should add up to the total distance from corner to corner than they do in this case. Um, we also like you to capture your ceiling height. Now, a lot of older houses, the ceiling height might vary a little bit depending on how level the floor is. So I'd like you to try to take that calculation or that measurement in several positions. If I was doing this particular kitchen, I would probably check in the corners. Um, to kind of see what the height is. Um, a typical eight foot kitchen is 96 inches tall. Uh, ultimately, we're just looking to see where the lowest point of the kitchen might be. If one of these measurements came in at 95 and a half, that's important for us to know, especially if we're designing cabinets to your ceiling and one area of your ceiling might be a little lower than another. Um, the only other thing I would check is uh, it, when you're doing these initial corner to corner measurements, you might check at the floor level you might check halfway up the wall, and then you might check near the top of the wall to just see if the walls are square and plumb. Again, older houses might have walls that have a sunken a little bit or changed in position. So again, let us know the smallest measurement corner to corner when you look at the floor, the middle, and the top part of the wall. Um, lastly, just bring us a list of all the appliances you plan to have in your new kitchen. If you're going to have a stove, dishwasher, um, maybe a garbage disposal, uh, if your, your new refrigerator. If you have model numbers, uh, if you've already made those selections, that's great. If you're going to repurpose what you already have, um, bring that information as well. Take a lot of pictures. Uh, if you photograph all of these walls for us, it would be very helpful. And uh, with this information, your photographs, your appliance list, we're ready to go. We'll see you soon at Builder Surplus. Get going on your new kitchen.